The next question says, a point charge Q is placed inside a conducting spherical shell of inner radius 3R and outer radius 5R at a distance R from the center of the shell. The electric potential at the center of the shell will be. So I can consider this as the spherical shell where this radius is 3R, this radius is 5R and this is where the charge is placed at a distance R. Now very clearly this Q will induce a negative Q on the inner surface of the spherical shell and therefore plus Q on the outer surface of the spherical shell by the process of induction. Now very clearly we can say that from the center the point Q is at a distance R the negative Q which is spread out throughout this shell the inner part of the shell every charge on this is at a distance of 3R and for this outer spherical shell I can say the plus Q is at a distance 5R. Now I hope you remember that for a point charge where we have the air in between we can say the potential is directly 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q upon the distance but for the sphere if the point where the potential is to be found is inside the sphere we can say the potential inside the sphere is equal to potential on the surface of the sphere and therefore there are three potentials V as V1 plus V2 plus V3. V1 is due to this point charge and that will be 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R. Q is the charge and R is the distance from that charge of the point. Similarly V2 is also going to be 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught negative Q by 3R because though this minus Q is spread out throughout the spherical shell but I can say all the charges on this inner shell is at the same distance from the point and since it's a scalar quantity the potential we can directly add them so we can consider this point charge itself at a distance 3R so that's what we get the potential over here but V3 is nothing but 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught equal to into plus q by 5r which is actually equal to v at the surface because that is the point which is inside a spherical shell so the inside the spherical shell for the charge outside the potential is equal to that on the surface so once we get all the potential we can directly just add them we get v as I think we can take Q upon 4 pi epsilon naught R common. In the bracket, we will be left with 1 plus negative 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5. Now, we can clearly say it's 1 minus 1 by 3, which is 2 by 3. Now, 2 by 3, 2, 5 is a 10, and 3, 1 is a 3. The addition will give us 13 upon 15. And so the final answer is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught 13q by 15r.